Hello everyone. Now today we have with us Parag and we are going to test carboxylic acid as a functional group. So uh, I have already told him that uh, I have given him carboxylic acid and he has to show us the confirmatory test for the carboxylic acids. Right? Uh, even if you don't know the given sample is carboxylic acid, how can you proceed? So very firstly it's an acid. So acids they turn? Blue litmus to red. Yes, blue litmus to red. So here we are having some strips of blue litmus. So uh, he will be putting some drops of acid over uh, the blue litmus and we will wait whether it changes red or not. Yes. So we can see the blue litmus has turned to red. So this is how we can say that the given solution was acidic solution. So uh, this can be one of the you know guess test not confirmatory. Uh, if you are getting blue litmus turning to red then you can think that it may be acid. Okay, although phenols also they turn blue litmus red because they also are little bit acidic. So you cannot take it as a confirmatory test but still uh, you can have some idea that it may be an acid. Uh, the confirmatory test for carboxylic acids are ester test and sodium hydrate. Yes, carbonate. Okay, so first of all we will be performing ester test because in ester test hot water bath is needed, it takes time. So first of all you will perform ester test. So for ester test, uh, he has already kept uh, the sample in the test tube for safe side. Uh, what you are going to do? Now I will add ethanol in the solution. Yes. So sample with as, uh, your uh, ethanol or ethyl alcohol, you will add and then few drops of? Yes. This reaction is esterification reaction between acid and alcohol where formation of fruity smelling ester will take place. Now this test tube we have to keep in the hot water. water bath. So I have already kept the hot water bath because we need the hot water bath for keeping the test tube. So we have arranged our test tube in the hot water bath and while it is getting heated because it requires 5 to 7 or 10 minutes for uh, he getting heated and formation of ester, esterification reaction has to take place. So till then we will perform our third test that is sodium hydrogen carbonate test. So for this test what has to be done? We will take sodium hydrogen carbonate and make its solution. So make it. So he is taking some of the sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate in the test tube and adding a little of water to it and now, now what you will be doing? Uh -huh. What are you expecting? Brisk effervescence of CO2 as it is acidic solution. Very good. So can you see brisk effervescence of CO2? A little closer. Pour some more quantity. Yes. So your entire test tube will be filled with the what? Effervescence of, of gas. Okay, so this test confirms the. It is acid. 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 Yes. But uh, you can add a little bit more sodium hydrogen carbonate so we can have a closer look yes. for the brisk effervescence. Please show it. Yes. This is our sample and these are the brisk effervescence of CO2. Very nice. Okay. Now. Our water bath is already heated. We have kept the test tube around 5 minutes ago here. Yes, and uh, you take it out and now next what? Pour the content of the test tube in the cold water. So we are having here cold water in this beaker. And he is going to pour the contents of the test tube in the cold water. What is expected? Fruity smelling ester. Yes, pour it to the cold water. And smell the contents. Is it giving you fruity smell of ester? Okay, so this was all about testing of acid in the lab. So we have performed three tests. First was turning off. Yes. Can you see the blue litmus has changed entirely to red, red litmus. And then second test was ester okay. test. And third was sodium hydrogen carbonate with it, it gave brisk effervescence of CO2. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.